there is a very strong commitment from the government as well as from 2022 uh, in, ter in terms of workers' welfare. The health, safety, security and dignity of every person working in Qatar is the utmost important, utmost priority that we have. But it's not working at the moment, is it? Well, no, actually it, it is. I mean, if you look at some of the initiatives that are undertaken, there are, of course, you know, some issues that might be, that, that, you know, that, that have been raised. And again, the government has always indicated, uh, you know, that it will be looking into this matter. I think they issued a statement yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, uh, indicating that the in uh, independent uh, review uh, process has been put in place to look at these situations, to look at the incidents that have arisen, and looking also towards a report uh, and providing the, uh, the uh, if you will, the uh, recommendations moving forward. R reports, recommendations are one thing. We're talking about the exploitation and potential abuse of, of hundreds of, of thousands of workers. Of some people of some people and some workers. That's very important to keep in, to keep in, to keep in fact. However, regardless, mm -hmm. some, a lot, it doesn't matter. Zero, anything above zero is unacceptable. So how are you going to protect their rights? Well, when you look at 2022, for example, and the initiatives that we have undertaken, we have developed a workers' welfare charter that is actually outside for the public to take a look at. Mm -hmm. We have developed uh, conditions and contracts, uh, contractual provisions that we will be imposing and enforcing upon our contractors. But at the same time, in providing these contractual provisions, we are in discussions also with Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International, who have taken a look at these uh, provisions and are also providing us their input in terms of uh, not only how do you put it within the contract, but how do you also work within the mechanism to enforce it and at the same time also we're looking at different NGOs as well uh, towards uh, how do you how do you create a mechanism mm -hmm. that provides a sustainable a sustainable solution and a long-term solution on these matters so if we have this discussion again in six months one year two years when are you going to be able to look me in the eye and say we fixed it I'll ask you a, a very simple question um, Generally, uh, when you look at a lot of solutions that occur for us, we're going to be, I'm hoping to say, as soon as possible, and we're already in the, in the steps going forward on that. You can't give a time. Well, I don't think anybody can give a time on this matter, considering it's a global issue. If you look at it uh, generally, you know, and, and this is the tragedy of the situation, it is a global issue. The entire world is facing it. It's not just limited to Qatar. If you look in terms of workers, you know, worker and migrant issues, mm -hmm. if that wasn't the case, then you wouldn't find, for example, Human, Humanity United making a, uh, an initiative with Clinton Global Initiative uh, just last week, indicating to them very clearly that this is a situation that's facing the rest of the world. That's uh, it's as simple as that. But I think also these initiatives in general do take quite some time to be implemented. However, having said that, for us, you know, we, 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 uh, there's steps that have already been taken within the government uh, in, ter in terms of uh, establishing, for example, courts, special courts for labor situation, uh, establishing special, uh, special systems, also all mechanisms for the labor situation. There are, there, there are steps that are being undertaken right now and that need, need to be focused as well. We're not saying the situation, you know, there are obviously some issues have, been, have arisen and we need to look at it very carefully and investigate it, look at what's the, uh, down the road. But at the same time, the commitment is there and steps are being taken right now. And what I would invite you is to look at, you know, the, uh, you know what steps have been taken and what commitments we're providing towards ensuring that this happens. Now the timeline, we will take the time that we need to provide these solutions and we will, in the end, resolve this matter. Uh, we look forward to coming to visit you to, to look at that. Look, you must get a bit exasperated. People, everybody it seems, having a go at your country first. Corruption, the move to winter, potential move to winter that we're here to discuss ostensibly, uh, workers' rights. Is there, a, is there an, a, an agenda, a vendetta against, I mean, is it snobbishness, new money? Is it racism? What is it? What do you, well, who do you blame? Honestly, I can't answer that. I think I think more more or less, you know, people outside can can take a look at it and understand, you know, what it is. What I can say though is, the first Middle Eastern World Cup needs to be given a, tr a chance. The first Middle Eastern World Cup needs to be given an opportunity to demonstrate what it is. We've made our promises, and we're in the process of delivering on our promises. And when people say Qatar has no football heritage, that is an absolute fallacy. I mean, Qatar has a football heritage. We are we are you know the Middle East itself uh, is a very very strong. Uh, football, uh, you know, has got a very strong, passionate football commitment and a very strong and big, wide football community. Uh, in terms of football, it's played, you know, from the youngest to the eldest. Uh, men and women also play it. Uh, we love this game. We love it like, no, like nothing else. And I assure you, you know, if you come to Qatar, you will find people who will be able to sit down and discuss Swansea or Hull City just as much as they can sit down and discuss Manchester United or Manchester City. The reality is the Middle East and Qatar in particular are very very passionate about football and if you can see all our tournaments you know what's it called in terms of some of the major uh, tournaments that we've held uh, there's a huge huge support for the game